right down to the wire tonight in Marquette. Good evening, everyone. The Munici Mustangs have shown no signs of fatigue after starting the basketball season a little late because of the state title run that the football team made. Tonight, the undefeated Mustangs found themselves in a battle at Marquette. The NMU men's basketball coaching staff showed up to watch the Stangs play the Redmen. First quarter, Austin Kelto dishes it down low to Ben Stacewich, who spins in the lane and gets the tough shot to fall. Marquette, though, likes to play in the paint as well. Who doesn't? Off the inbounds feed from Garrett Finkbeiner, Baez Grizzulis goes to work inside, hitting the soft hook shot for a three-point lead. Munising goes right back down the floor. Kelto to Garrett Blank, who recently committed to play football at NMU. Blank can play a little basketball, too. He hits the shot. Time ticking down in quarter number one. Connor Brazo puts up the three ball, and he hits it. 12-7 Marquette after one. In the end, the Munici Mustangs take down the number one team in the Big Five poll. of three coming up there from Austin Kelto. 38-36 the final. To next we go, Dickinson County. Why not? Nagani and Iron Mountain, both teams undefeated in MPC play. Second quarter tied at eight. Dre Tuminen gets it back to Rob Loy, who buries the three, 11-8 in favor of the Miners. After that though, the Mountaineers took over. Tanner Hootery. Open to the far wing for three. Hootery hits it, tying the game once again, and the band was indeed a happy bunch. More from Iron Mountain. Hootery feeds Jake Tom and makes a brilliant pass to Brock Grenier for the hoop and the harm. Look at the emotion on the kid's face. I'd say Jake's a little fired up there. To the third, Iron Mountain in control off the miss. Carson Wonders gets the rebound and the put back to go. In fact, Mr. Wonders was on a mission in this one. He was relentless. Finishing with the game high, 16 points. Iron Mountain held the Gani just 17 points to get the win and a one game lead in the MPC standings. To the scoreboards, Ishmael's three game losing streak is now a thing of the past. Ozzy Corp at 23 to lift the Hematites past the Braves. Also winning on the road was Westwood, 49 30 over Norway. In the Copper Country, Calumet defeated Berica 61 36. West Aaron County defeated Hancock at the buzzer, 36 35. Jeffers guard Zach Nicholas had 20 points, but Lance gets the win over the Jets, 53-49. Lakeland and Hubble remains undefeated with a 55-49 win against U and Shroud Creek. North Dickinson took down rival Forest Park thanks to 19 points from Reggie Jackson. North Central won big at home against Midpen. Houghton also won big at home against Ontonagon. The Hawks held off Rapid River by four points for the W. And Carney Nato, it's not pictured, I got it in late, 73-65 against Superior Central. Back to the highlights. The Westwood Patriots and Gwyn Model Towners were all knotted up at 18 points apiece when I got there in the third. The Patriots moved the ball around the perimeter here, eventually get it inside to Hannah Salmi for the tough left-handed layup, putting her team up two. More from the Pats a short time later. Shayna Calgary gonna leave her jumper a bit short. Gabby Hebert tracks down a loose ball and gets the layup up and in, extending the lead to four. Gwyn comes right back. Tori Lauren gets it to Tierra Taylor for the hoop. Plus the harm, Gwyn down just two points. The Model Towners on the move yet again. Ellie Olsen going down the floor and she decides, you know what, I'll just take it to the rack myself. The Mountaineers, or the Model Towners should say, pulled away the fourth quarter thanks to a 9-0 run. Gwyn, your winner, 41-29. Tori Lauren, 17 points, 10 boards for the double-double. Back to the scoreboards. Munising. One at Ingenine, 51-39, and Chassel was 16 better than Ewan Trout Creek, 60-44, the final in that one. In high school hockey, Escanaba defeated Kingsford 5-2. Surprise, surprise, Levi Wonder had a goal and three assists for the Gremlins. The Houghton Hancock girls won the skiing meet at Pine Mountain today. Houghton Hancock's Jenna Stein won both races. Marquette's Hannah Johnson brought home a pair of second place finishes. The boys' action was dominated by the Marquette Redmen. This is Marquette's Joe Weber coming down the hill. He won both boys' races, leading Marquette to the victory. The Redmen accumulated just 24 points for the win. Ironwood in second, Kingsford in third. My thanks to Michelle Thomas for the video.